Hello everybody, this is Jason with Breaking Waves Productions, here to bring you the full review of the Mighty Dwarf Blue 2. We will do the exact same thing that we did last time, we will use the Blue Yeti microphone for sound. We will then use my cell phone as a decibel reader. We will then do a test on the speakerphone capabilities of this little microphone here, and we will of course do a Bluetooth distance test to see just how far away we can stand with this thing still working, and we will do another test that we didn't get to do last time. We are going to do a bass frequency test. We're going to see just how low this thing can go, quite literally. And of course, the age-old question that everybody asks with this thing, what does it sound like when I play dubstep on it? Let's find out. So here we're testing out the speaker phone capabilities of the Mighty Dwarf Blue 2. Right now I have my friend Colin on the line. Colin, how does it sound through the microphone? Is it pretty clear? Is it not too clear? Um, I'd say it's fairly clear. It could be a little clear. I don't think it's meant to be used by the speaker phone, so I can't really necessarily blame it, I guess. Yep. Um, it's not as clear or as clear as I think most speaker phones are. All right. Well, here's the other thing I wasn't quite sure about testing because I actually have the phone sitting right here. So I'm not sure if the microphone on the actual unit is picking up anything. So if you give me one second, I'm going to put this phone clear somewhere else, uh, still within the Bluetooth range, and then we'll test again. So give me one second. All right. The phone is now set inside my closet, and pretty much everything is blocking the phone from being able to pick up my voice. Now, Colin, how does it sound with the phone approximately 20-some feet away shoved in a bunch of clothes? Uh, it sounds pretty much exactly the same. Uh, there's a little bit of cutting out here and there, but again, it sounds pretty much normal for, you know, if you had your speaker phone on a car or something you were driving down the road. All right. Sounds good, then. All right. So that concludes uh, how the speaker phone feature works on the Bluetooth. Uh, let's get to the next test. on it, we have to say that the Mighty Dwarf Blue 2 is definitely a very, very nice product. It is by far the best one that Mighty Dwarf has made so far up to date. The Bluetooth of this device is very good. Uh, the distance went to about 20 some feet and before closer to 30 feet was when it started cutting out, which is about where Bluetooth uh, distance is limited to. Now, would you be standing 30 feet away from this speaker? Yes, potentially, but most of the time you're probably going to be in the vicinity of it, so that's fine. Um, that in the count, 
How, do, how well does it work as a headset? Now, with a microphone, as our friend Colin had said, it sounded just about like any other headset, and when I put the headset um, into the closet about 15 some feet away, and then, you know, close all over it, and make sure that there was no way my voice was gonna get into that microphone, he said, still sounded good, a little bit of cutting out, Generally, I'm probably not going to be standing 15 some feet away with my phone in my pocket away from this thing. Um, so that's probably not going to be a big deal. But otherwise, he said the sound quality sounded great. Now, the decibel of this thing is 10 watts. And you saw it hovering around, I think, about 80 and then it peaked around 90, which is just about right. The 5 watt was around the 70s and peaked around the 80s. So that's still a quite a bit of sound. It's not an ear splitting as over 100 like the 26 watt gave. but um, what do you expect? This is only a 10 watt. Uh, then we did um, the bass frequency sweep. The bass frequency sweep was pretty good. Um, we got down to about uh, maybe 20 to 30 hertz before it kind of dipped down and then you couldn't really hear it anymore. So even for that, that's pretty darn awesome for this thing. Now, here's the question. Does it sound good uh, with dubstep music? Yes, I would say it does. Again, it really depends on what surface you put it on, but for the most part, now with the tweeter added for that mids and highs and all the bass being concentrated right down here, you do get a very nice full sound. It's not going to break down the house like your big Bose speakers. Keep in mind, these are just portable, but it really does provide a great sound, great uh, experience, especially if you're just hanging around or you're just with a couple friends in a small room and you just need some music entertainment. This is definitely it. We highly recommend it. And now that Mighty Dwarf has their own store, uh, online storefront, you can visit them at www.mightydwarf.com and order them from them directly now. You don't have to go through another retailer in Canada. They ship to the Can uh, Canada and the US as of right now. So definitely uh, head on over there and uh, definitely get this product. We, we love it. Thanks again to Dave from Lava Imports for sending this out to us. We hope you enjoyed this review, and we'll see you next time.